Today, we'll talk about a topic that's often difficult to discuss emotionally immature parents. Growing up with a parent who cannot regulate their emotions can profoundly impact our lives, from our relationships to our mental health. Whether you're an adult struggling to navigate a difficult relationship with your parents or a young person who is still living at home, it can be tough to know what to do. But don't worry, I'm here to share some practical tips and insights on how to cope with emotionally immature parents and create a healthier dynamic for yourself. Identifying Emotional Immaturity in Parents, Signs and Symptoms Emotional immaturity in parents can be challenging to recognize, especially if you're used to their behavior. However, there are some common signs and symptoms that your parents may be emotionally immature. Firstly, emotionally immature parents often struggle to regulate their emotions, which can lead to unpredictable and extreme mood swings. They may also be self-centered, focusing mainly on their own needs, wants, and desires without considering the impact on others. Another sign of emotional immaturity in parents is a lack of empathy. They may struggle to understand or empathize with others and tend to dismiss or minimize other people's feelings. Additionally, emotionally immature parents often have difficulty taking responsibility for their actions, instead blaming others or making excuses. They may also exhibit immaturity in problem-solving, avoiding or running away from problems instead of working to resolve them. Emotionally immature parents can overreact to situations, making a small issue into a significant problem. Furthermore, emotionally immature parents may act inconsistently depending on their mood or who they're interacting with, making it hard to predict their behavior. Finally, they may struggle with communication skills, leading to misunderstandings and conflict. If you notice any of these signs or symptoms in your parents' behavior, it may be a sign of emotional immaturity. It's essential to recognize and acknowledge these issues so that you can work towards building healthier relationships with your parents. Coping Strategies for Adults with Emotionally Immature Parents Dealing with emotionally immature parents can be difficult, but here are some coping strategies that can help. 1. Set boundaries. Establishing clear boundaries is an essential part of coping with emotionally immature parents. Setting boundaries involves communicating your needs and limitations to your parents and letting them know what behaviors are acceptable and unacceptable. For example, you may need to limit the amount of time you spend with your parents if you find that spending too much time with them triggers negative emotions or leads to conflicts. Alternatively, you may need to avoid certain topics of conversation that tend to lead to arguments or hurt feelings. When setting boundaries, it's essential to be clear and direct with your parents. Use I statements to express your feelings and needs, and avoid blaming or criticizing them. For example, you might say something like, I feel uncomfortable when we talk about politics. Can we please avoid that topic during our conversations? 2. Practice self-care. Take care of yourself by engaging in activities that make you happy and healthy, such as exercise and meditation. 3. Seek support. Growing up with emotionally immature parents can be a challenging experience, and it can be challenging to process and work through the emotional impacts on your own. Seeking support from a therapist, support group, or trusted friend who can offer you emotional support and guidance can be a helpful way to heal and move forward. 4. Practice mindfulness. Try to focus on the present moment and observe your thoughts and feelings without judgment. Mindfulness can help you stay grounded and centered, even in difficult situations. 5. Cultivate healthy relationships. Building healthy relationships with others who can offer emotional support and positive feedback is essential for anyone, especially if you are dealing with negative interactions with your parents. When we have supportive people in our lives, we feel more connected, understood, and validated. These relationships can be a source of comfort, encouragement, and inspiration, which can help counterbalance any negative experiences we may have with our parents. When building relationships, communication is key. Practice active listening, empathy, and open communication to foster trust and understanding. Be honest and transparent about your feelings and needs, and encourage others to do the same. This can help deepen your relationships and create a strong foundation of support. 
6. Set realistic expectations, accepting that your parents may not change and setting realistic expectations for your relationship with them can be challenging but is essential for your emotional well-being. It's important to understand that you cannot control the behavior of others, including your parents, and that their actions are not a reflection of your worth as a person. You have the power to control how you respond to their behavior and set boundaries to protect yourself. Setting realistic expectations for your relationship with your parents means acknowledging their limitations and understanding what you can and cannot expect from them. It's essential to recognize that your parents may have their own challenges, traumas, or struggles that prevent them from being the parent you may have hoped for. This does not mean you have to tolerate abusive or unhealthy behavior, but it may mean that you need to adjust your expectations and focus on what is realistic for your relationship. 7. Avoid taking things personally. It can be challenging not to take your parents' behavior personally, especially if you've experienced emotional or physical abuse. However, it's crucial to understand that their emotional immaturity is not a reflection of your worth or value as a person. Their behavior is a result of their own emotional struggles, traumas, and limitations, and it's important to separate their actions from your self-worth. When you take your parents' behavior personally, you give them power over your emotional state, and this can lead to feelings of guilt, shame, and unworthiness. It's important to recognize that their behavior is not a reflection of your character, intelligence, or abilities. You are not responsible for their behavior, and you cannot control their actions. 8. Practice forgiveness. Forgiveness can be a powerful tool for healing and letting go of negative emotions related to a difficult relationship with a parent. However, it's important to remember that forgiveness does not mean tolerating abusive or harmful behavior. It's possible to forgive someone without condoning their actions or continuing to subject yourself to their negative behavior. Forgiveness is a process that takes time and effort. It involves acknowledging and validating your own emotions and experiences, and then choosing to let go of resentment, anger, and bitterness toward the person who has hurt you. Forgiveness does not mean forgetting or minimizing what happened, but it means releasing the emotional attachment to the hurt and pain. Remember that coping with emotionally immature parents can be a long and challenging journey. However, with time, you can learn to manage your emotions and build healthier relationships with your parents. Parenting Tips for Adults Who Grew Up With Emotionally Immature Parents Growing up with emotionally immature parents can have a significant impact on your adult life, but there are steps you can take to break the cycle and become a more emotionally mature parent yourself. Here are some parenting tips for adults who grew up with emotionally immature parents. 1. Practice emotional self-control. Parents who are emotionally immature may find it challenging to manage their feelings. Therefore, it is crucial to exhibit healthy emotional self-control in front of your children. Try practicing relaxation techniques such as deep breathing and meditation, and impart these techniques to your children as well. 2. Develop empathy. Empathy is an essential trait for establishing healthy relationships with your children, even if you struggle with it as an emotionally immature parent. Attempt to understand your child's point of view by placing yourself in their shoes and considering their perspective. 3. Take ownership. Parents who lack emotional maturity may find it challenging to accept responsibility for their actions. As a parent, it is crucial to demonstrate accountability and responsibility to your children. 4. Communicate effectively. Communication can be challenging for emotionally immature parents. Therefore, it is vital to practice active listening and clear communication with your children. Encourage open communication and validate your children's emotions and opinions. 5. Avoid overreacting. Parents without emotional maturity may have a tendency to overreact to minor issues, causing insignificant problems to escalate. As a parent, it is crucial to remain calm and avoid overreacting to your children's actions or mistakes. 6. Be consistent. Emotionally immature parents may behave differently based on their mood or the people they interact with. As a parent, it is crucial to be consistent in your interactions with your children. 7. Seek assistance. If you find it challenging to parent due to your experiences with emotionally immature parents, consider seeking support from a therapist, a support group, or a trusted friend who can provide advice and emotional support. In conclusion, 
Dealing with an emotionally immature parent can be a challenging and complex experience. Remember that it's not your responsibility to fix or change your parents, but rather to prioritize your own emotional well-being. You have the power to create a fulfilling and happy life for yourself, and with the right tools and support, you can overcome the challenges of having an emotionally immature parent. Keep seeking help and remember that you are not alone. We hope that you found this information helpful, and that you can apply some of these tips to your own life. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our channel for more helpful content. Don't forget to share this video with anyone who may benefit from this information. Thank you again for tuning in, and we'll see you in our next video.